All right, guys. <clears throat> I'm gonna. Um, I don't know. I've been weighing doing this video blog, and I've done it a couple of times actually. And then I just said, you know what? Let cooler heads prevail. So I decided to cool down a little bit and come back and try to make it. But I want to. I'm urging everybody out there to start filming law enforcement. Film the police. I got a rude awakening in the last week and a half or two. Not just by him at iNews, but by somebody I really trusted. And I found out that there really are no good cops out there. There aren't. There might be cool cops. Cops that say, hey, how you doing, buddy? And they shake your hand and you talk to them. And yeah, there's cool cops, but there's really no good cops. They stand hand in hand, arm in arm. We're going to defend our blue brothers to the death. So if cops abuse their badge and abuse their authority, that's okay as long as we don't have a cross word to say against them. Because if we do, their brothers are going to stand tall and let us know what's going on. Now, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know I never initiate negative contact with law enforcement. I've never initiated negative contact with the police. It's always been reciprocated. <clears throat> always reciprocated. Did I call some police officers pigs? Yeah, they were acting like fucking pigs. They got out of their sty, their area, and started messing stuff up. Talking about him it. So what happened, don't chew on my fingernail, what happened was they were searching a car. Now we know what those vehicle searches are about, right? And a lot of times they don't find anything and they let them go. And that was the case in this instance as well. They had people sitting on the curb. I was walking down the sidewalk. There were some railroad tracks. And then there was a sidewalk and then there was a triangular dirt area. And then a sign over to the side that said, no trespassing, and they had the rail yard, whether it was a depot or a station for people to catch the train. I think that's what it was. <coughs> but it's in Hemet. That little triangular dirt area is city property. You're allowed to stand there or walk there. It's part of the city's property. You can just walk through there, especially if you're a taxpayer. So I walked off the sidewalk by about eight or 10 paces into that dirt area and was filming the cops from about 40 or 50 feet away. I think I said 25 in the video, but that's, that was very conservative. I think it was more like 40 or 50. A cop decided he didn't want me filming. He walked up to me. He started telling me, go back on the sidewalk. I said, no, I'm in a dirt area of the city. He said, no, you need to stand on the sidewalk. I told him the Supreme Court's ruled. I'm far enough back. I was not delaying. I was not obstructing. I was simply standing there with a camera. He threatened me with arrest for trespassing. He used the word trespass. He was going to arrest me for trespass from a city public area because I was filming the police. Now I'm really pissed off. And verbally, not physically, but verbally, I broke my leg off in his ass at the kneecap. His sergeant decided to come over and put his flashlight directly in my face and intimidate me. So yeah, I let him have it. Him and I news didn't like it. <clears throat> well, apparently a deputy from the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department didn't like it either. I'm going to call them out. Now, this deputy used to work here locally. Now he works out in Rancho Cucamonga. I'm not going to name him. I'm going to be the better man. But he has on his Facebook account a badge of the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department and a blue line flag. Now, this is a deputy that I've never had a crossword with. I've always been polite with him. We've always been cool. We've always been professional with each other. But he stabbed me in the back and threw me under the bus on Facebook by putting me on a Facebook group and telling everybody, look what an asshole this guy is. I, I use the word asshole. But then he hid the video so I couldn't see it. Thankfully, some people were commenting on it, and then somebody shared a video of mine to let me know, yeah, that's me he's talking about. He was talking shit about me on a Facebook group. He took it offline, so to speak. I know it's online, but when I say took it offline, he, it went from 
police officer and cop watcher to now two guys having a, a beef on Facebook. That's what I mean, took it offline. He representing the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department with that badge and talking shit about me on Facebook by name. I've had to block several people because of this. Because of him, I've had to block people. So here, I've never said anything bad to the guy, but because some Hemet police officers were abusing their badge and abusing their authority and threatening to arrest me for trespass while I was standing in a public city area next to the sidewalk doing a constitutionally protected activity in a lawful manner, they threatened to arrest me. I broke my leg off in their ass verbally. Now this San Bernardino County Sheriff's deputy, who's not even in Riverside County, he's in San Bernardino County, representing the Sheriff's Department with that badge, is talking shit about me on Facebook. Blue Line Authority, Blue Line Brothers. He didn't contact me and say, hey, Jim, what's going on, man? What, why were you upset at those cops? Didn't do that. Didn't contact me and say, hey, I know I saw this video of you going off in some cops. What the hell was that about? Now, did I handle it completely properly? Probably I did not handle it properly. Probably no. There's always room for improvement. But the motivation behind it was correct. They were threatening to arrest me for trespass while I was lawfully doing the constitutionally protected activity. They were abusing their badge. But this cop from San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department doesn't see it that way. He sees that I was abusing his brothers in arms. And instead of saying, yeah, those cops probably looks like they were abusing their badge. No, he justifies their actions and tells people on a Facebook group, look at this freaking jerk. My words. But that, in essence, that's kind of what he's doing. Stabbing me in the back, throwing me under the bus. So I'm making this video blog to let all of you know it's time for us to turn up the heat with our cameras. It's time to get out there and film the police and film your local law enforcement. If you see blue, red, or yellow lights flashing, that's the cops, they have these yellow lights now as a hazard. If you see lights flashing on a cop car, pull over at your earliest convenience. Get out, walk over there and film them, record them. Let's put them on YouTube. Let's put them on Facebook. Let's put them on Twitter. These cops hate transparency. They do not like us uh, resisting their unlawful authority. They want us to do what we're told. We are not free Americans to law enforcement. I've come to figure that out. This was like an eye-opening epiphany that we are not free Americans when it comes to law enforcement officers. We are under their authority, their thumb. They tell us what to do, and by God damn it, we do it, or they're gonna throw us under the bus on social media. So it's time for us to take social media back and get out there and film these law enforcement officers and let them know we're not going away. You can't intimidate us. You can't bully us. You can't harass us and push us away. We're going to come back with our cameras and we're going to film you and we're going to put you on social media and we're going to let everybody know what kind of jerk you are. I'm talking to nationally all law enforcement officers. I'm going to continue to do my editorials. I'm going to continue to cop watch. <clears throat> and I'm going to continue to explo expose the unprofessionalism of these law enforcement officers. You're not going to get away from the camera. We are out here. We are recording you. We are doing it lawfully. We are not breaking the law. I am not telling you to do that. We are not going to violate penal code or city ordinance or city code. We are going to do it lawfully and we're going to follow our constitution and we are going to exert our rights under the U.S. Constitution lawfully. And we're going to do it in a manner that shows people what kind of assholes you law enforcement officers are and it's time to take our cameras back. Now, not all cops are assholes. Like I said, there are some cops that are really cool. I personally know a couple of law enforcement officers. They're really cool guys. I've never had a crossword against them, but I never had a crossword against this one either, but he threw me under the bus on a Facebook group and doxed me. I was like, whoa, someone pulled the knife out of my back. Yes, sir. 
That's how it goes. And any law enforcement officers that see this video, comment in the comment section below if you have the balls. Or, and I'm sorry it sounds negative and nasty, but hey, if you dare, contact me and say, hey man, what's going on? Why are you upset right now? And we'll have a dialogue about it. But don't go on Facebook and try to dox me and throw me under the bus because I want to make more videos like this. Yeah, I'm upset, but this isn't personal. This is business. And this is business because... You're abusing your badge and authority by going onto Facebook like that with a little San Bernardino County Sheriff's badge and throwing me under the bus when those cops were abusing their badge, abusing their authority. And instead of saying, well, the cops were threatening to arrest him while he was standing in a public area of the city. No, he spins it to show everybody, look what kind of jerk lives in your town. That is the kind of unprofessionalism and non-transparency and non-accountability that I'm talking about that we need to get out there and strip from these law enforcement officers. We need to make them transparent, make them accountable, and let them know we will not tolerate unprofessional behavior. It's time, guys, to take America back by force, and I don't mean physical, I mean by cameras. Get out there and let's film them, let's record them, let's put it on social media, and let's let them know, wow, they are strong. Yes, let's do this, guys. News Now Yukaipa, you know I love you.